G'day everybody, my name is Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's video is all about land-based fishing for tiger squid. Winter time on the Fraser Coast is the perfect time to go land-based hunting for tiger squid. Generally our nighttime temperatures are sort of dropping down anywhere from 5 degrees through to sort of 10, 12 degrees at night. And during the day we're very fortunate in this part of the world to hover between 21 and 24 degrees. Everybody's always wondering about water temperature. Generally when the water temperature along the Fraser Coast starts dipping below that 20 degree mark, people start getting really excited because snappers start to appear, but so also do the tiger squid. When I was growing up, I used to go hunting squid, garfish, all those sorts of things quite a lot. And the way I used to hunt squid back then was using this setup. This is just a simple float setup where you've got your squid jig uh, suspended below a float. Importantly, above the float have a swivel or a knot or something uh, to stop the float just keep on going up and up and up. And then you can have the length of line under your float to your squid jig to suit the depth of water or how far you want to have your squid jig suspending. Um, so this is a very simple way to do it and uh, it's pretty pretty easy to use you can actually I used to as a kid we used to just float them off uh, the pier and you know you didn't even have to really watch it that much you could be doing something else go back to it and if the float has disappeared uh, or it's just sitting below the surface then you know you've got a squid on but since then I'm a big fan of the artificial squid jigs okay especially the ones that have a nice cloth Okay, the ones that are more plasticky, that are... So this one here, okay, this is a, a much cheaper option, but it's hard plastic. It's got real no texture to it or anything like that. Okay, I have still caught squid on it, but I reckon the hookup rate is nowhere near as high as a good quality squid jig. It has a cloth finish on it, okay? And these Yakamito squid jigs are top-notch quality. I think it's the feel of the cloth when they attach to it. It feels almost like scales and things. So I think, that, I think that's the reason why they favor these a little bit more. Now the outfit I like to use when I'm chasing tiger squid, regardless of if I'm land-based or on my boat, is a two to five kilo uh, rod. This one's about seven foot long. It's the Masterclass rod from Oztackle. And I've got it matched up with the M2500 uh, spinning reel, also from Oztackle. It's got eight pound P8 platypus braid attached to it, running through to a 10 pound platypus super 100 uh, mono leader. And I've got a selection of Yakamito uh, squid jigs, PX squid jigs. Um, this one here is a little bit tattered. It's been eaten by squid. Um, and usually about three to four inches is uh, the preferred length for myself. That's what I like to use. Uh, they also offer them in uh, slightly smaller lengths as well, down to about two inches. Now a couple of tips for picking areas to fish for tiger squid. They don't like strong currents. They like to tuck themselves in behind structure so they can conserve energy so that when the bait comes past or the, the thing that they're hunting comes past they use a little bit of a spurt of energy to duck out from behind cover grab whatever it is and then they'll bring it back into cover so that they can save their energy again remember it's all about energy conservation for these guys so in this diagram i've tried to represent a lot of the areas that you'll find around the fraser coast where there's rocky outcrops you'll generally find that the outcrops themselves um, run parallel next to each other just how the rock formations actually are and you'll notice this a lot on the islands like especially around Big Woody Island and Little Woody Island and places like that if you really take note of how the rocks are formed uh, you'll notice there's nice lines in them so in this situation we've got the the tides coming in so it's coming from the bottom of the page to the top of the page it's pushing up along the rocks and what the water actually does is it kind of flows around uh, where that dotted red line is and as it does that it creates pools of still water in between the rock formations until it fully floods and this is where I find tiger squid like to hang out or it's where I catch the greatest number of my tiger squid they seem to sit in that still water 
and wait for things to come past almost where the red line is and they'll duck out, grab it, pull it back into the still water. So whether you've, if you're in a boat, you'd probably sit off to the right hand side of the page and cast into that still water and when you're land based, you move along the rock outcrop and cast into the still water. They have brilliant eyesight, absolutely brilliant eyesight. I tend to find them in areas where the water's nice and still and clear. If it's all dirty and mucked up, I generally don't find them. Nice, clear patches of water. So here's an example of it uh, in a well-known spot down at Gattaca's Bay, uh, just looking from the beach. Okay, you can actually see the lines of rock and you can see the still water forming in between uh, the rocks. Now you don't just have to go looking around rock ledges and things like that, that's just the areas that I go. You'll find squid wherever there's lots of weed bed because they love to eat whiting. And you'll find them around the rocks, especially if there's a little bit of coral or something around like that. Are they nice to go and hide in amongst that and grab bait fish as they come in amongst the rocks. Here's another really good example. We've got the formation of rocks are further apart and you can actually see the water's moving from right to left and it's actually coming in probably just at the top in between the outcrop and it's sort of flowing in and then sort of swirling and being nice and still in the middle uh, and that's usually where I find a, a good number of squid uh, hanging out. Another tip, set your drag really light okay their tentacles and things are quite strong but it's amazing if you just put a little bit of force on there as you're trying to reel them in you can just pop those little fine hooks on your jig out of their grasp all right so i have my drag set so i can pull it off really easy okay and let them take the jig first and then just very finely because once they're hooked they're not going to break you off on anything or anything like that. They're not going to tear off like a tuna for miles and miles. They're just going to try and pull you back a little bit, okay? So you can just sort of one click, two clicks on your drag and just slowly wind them in and whenever they pull, just let them pull, pull. And you should just hear the sound like that when they pull and then just bring them closer when they're not pulling, okay? Just go really, really gentle. So the type of retrieve I use is very, very simple. You cast your squid jig out, bring up your slack, and then just a very slow wind. This is actually probably a little bit too quick, but a nice slow wind, and occasionally I'll speed it up, okay, with two or three cranks really, really quickly, just to sort of spark their interest a little bit. Uh, sometimes they might be just sort of sitting there waiting, and with their eyesight they might be, you know, what is that, and a little bit of, speed sometimes creates a flash and gets their interest. The dreaded ink, okay, whatever you do, make sure you just leave them in the water for a little bit, let them sort of expel the ink as much as possible before you uh, grab them. I like to put them into strips after I clean them and then mix them with uh, kiwi fruit juice, uh, let them marinate for a while and then in the fry pan really quick, 30 seconds probably at most, uh, before putting them on the plate. Okay folks, I'm all done. Thanks very much for your time watching this video. I hope it was useful in some way and I really do hope you managed to get out and get yourself a feed of fresh calamari. If you've got any other questions or anything you think I need to add to this video, please just leave me a message, put something in the comments and remember to share it and uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.